Hi guys, today I'm going to be testing out this Pixie Paint and doing a little bit of a product review as well as at the end of this video I'm going to swatch all of the different colors that I purchased so you can see them in more detail. I am going to do a few of my more popular festival glitter designs with these and test them out and see if they could possibly be a good replacement for me to use during festivals. If I can replace um, some of my more simplistic glitter designs with the pixie paint, it will be a lot easier for me rather than using my loose glitter with my glitter glue or my petroleum jelly. If I can plop this on instead, I can see how it could save a lot of time. So I want to test it out and I figured why not show you guys while I test it out and kill two birds with one stone. Also, at the end of this video, I'm going to do some swatches on my arm with all the different colors that I received so you can see that, as well as show you what happens when you put this over water activated face paint doesn't work out so well. So I think that um, there'll be a good replacement for some of my limited designs, which I'm gonna show you on my face, the ones that I have in mind. Um, and then stay tuned at the end, you'll see what happens when you put this over paint and all the colors that I purchased as well. So let's get into it. Okay, so the first one I'm gonna try is really, really simple. I call it my glitter eye design. It's just chunky glitter all around the eye. And I am going to try to use the silver and the kind of clear white one. And I'll show you guys the names later as well. And this is pretty like gelatinous, I think. It says the ingredients. It is a gel base, water, something else. There's aloe vera in it, which I'm allergic to aloe, so hopefully there's not that much aloe in it or I will be very unhappy. Okay, so I'm just scooping out like a decent glob of the silver. Get my hair out of the way. And So I'm going to grab some of the kind of clear white as well. It's easy to manipulate and it's super shimmery and glittery and all that good stuff. So I grabbed more silver. So like I said, this is like the most simplistic design, but the girls love it, the teenage girls love it. If I put this on myself at an event, then I swear half of the girls just ask me for this and it makes my line go really, really fast. Okay, so I really like it. Um, that was incredibly simple and if I'm not doing it on myself, is gonna go insanely fast and it's really pretty there's all sorts of different shapes in it hexagons and um, stars and all sorts of things so that's pretty good I like it it feels cold <laughs> and it does feel wet I imagine that the gel evaporates to some degree and that this sticks pretty well, but I don't think it dries the way glitter glue would. So if I was gonna do something like this on a client or for Halloween, um, and I know they're going to a party and you know they're gonna be like the tooth fairy and they want glitter all over themselves or something, I'm not yet convinced that this is what I would use, but at a festival when it's super high volume, instead of grabbing my glue and my loose chunky glitter, and then a chunky glitter gets everywhere, you know, I love it, but it's just a mess. This is definitely super easy. So I, I see myself using this as a replacement for this design for sure. Um, now there's another design I do that's like a headband design, so I want to do that as well. 
and see what that looks like and maybe do a little bit of paint and dots around it like I would normally do at an event. So let's try that one as well. Okay, so for my headband design, I'm gonna use this one, which is really, really cool. It's like the gold bronze offering that they have. It's called Halloween, which is fitting, but I can see it being used for a lot more than just Halloween. Okay. So, a lot of times I'll do kind of like a hippie headband on girls, and I usually try to do it in a bit of a V shape. So I grabbed a pretty large like scoop of this in hopes that I might not have to dip back in. So let's see how far this will go without me grabbing more. So far so good. Mm, I really like this one. It's so sparkly and it, it, I get the Halloween. I mean, it's orangey, but it's also like those golds and bronzes are just ridiculous. Super pretty. Okay. It's definitely very malleable which I like, which means that you can, you know, really move it around if you needed to, or if you put it someplace you didn't, you know, you decided you didn't really want it to go. I just hope that the gel kind of dries a little, because if not, um, I will say for any beginners or anybody who's doing, you know, just like festival makeup for the summer or something, this would be ideal because you're not investing in a lot of supplies. You can just get this and you could even use a q-tip. You wouldn't even need a brush to do this. I am using a filbert brush because it's got that nice flat edge so it's easy to manipulate and easy to scoop up a big chunk. All right, I definitely like this. Very cool. Very, very easy. So you can see that a little bit better and they're so different you know even this silver and clear since it's that holographic glitter that picks up the light I mean it looks like rainbow it's so pretty and this is pretty awesome too pretty decent shape for Whenever I do it on myself, it's always a little askew, but it's not so bad. I'm kind of liking it. Okay, so if I don't just leave the headband like that, what I'll usually do is grab a round brush and just some white paint and do a few dots and highlights. So let's go ahead and do that. I don't paint over the glitter, so I'm not too worried about that, but I'll show you guys what I do just in case you want to know. Okay, so typically, and see that's gonna bother me if it's not like at a perfect peak. So since it's not really dry, I can drag it down to a perfect peak. Look at that, that's kind of cool. All right, I'm liking this. I'm excited to use it for an event. That's always the true test. Okay. So I'm gonna do just little cascading dots from biggest to smallest. Get some more white. Um, a good trick with getting like really great dots as if you get nice creamy creamy white all mixed up and then scoop when you get that little puddle like you have and roll it off your brush and then scoop it up on the tip of your brush so that you almost have like a little dot 
hovering on the tip of your brush and you're gonna get a really nice white dot. See how like round Try to make this even. See, it's super simple. And then you can really do as many of those as you want. Let's do another one in the middle. a little heavy-handed on that one so I'll just thicken that one up a little bit so super simple crown Even my lighting's getting a little funny because it's so sparkly so yeah not bad I like them very much and you just leave it but if you want to add a few more dots you can and finish it off and make it stand out Pretty cool. All right, I like it. Okay, so stick around. I'm gonna show you swatches of all the colors that I did buy of these. And then I'm also going to show you what happens when you put it over water activated paint. Definitely not something you wanna use over a design, um, but really good for this kind of stuff. I mean, I don't think I'll ever, I hate to say this, I have so much chunky glitter. <laughs> Loose chunky glitter that I love, so I will still use it, but if I'm at a crazy high volume event, which some of my events are bananas busy, then I think I'm gonna start using this. So really excited to try it on the job, and please let me know if you have questions and what you guys think, and I hope you try it because I like it, it's good. I'm excited to try it with some other designs too, so. Okay, enough of me rambling. Let's get to swatches. This one is Abracadabra. It is the more clear white of all of them. However, the flex and uh, glitter in here is very reflective. So you'll see when I swatch this that you can see purples and blues and even orange and yellow tones being reflected back with this glitter. So very, very pretty. And again, I'm just using a filbert brush for these swatches. I scooped a relatively small amount, but it really does go a long way. I think this color, if you're thinking about trying this uh, pixie paint, would be a good one to go with because if you do this around any of your painted designs, it's going to pick up the colors you've used. So it'd be a good starter one to try. It's very pretty. Okay, next up is Xanadu, and it is the silver glitter, and it has stars and hexagons and lots of small pieces of glitter and is a really nice silver, so let's swatch it. And now we have Splash, which is appropriately named. It would be amazing for mermaids, dolphins, and I could see frozen crowns as well. This would be nice. It has a lot of turquoises, some silver, and some green, so really pretty. Yeah, 
you can see these go on relatively well, but they are wet, so it does kind of slide. So you have to be careful where you go over it again because you could pick up the glitter instead of pressing it into the skin. And now Purple Rain, hopefully that's an homage to Prince, which makes me pretty happy. And it's very lovely, uh, lots of different tones of purple in this one. Stars, hexagons, and small reflective pieces of glitter as well. It's a very nice shade of purple. I like it very much, and I love it even more that it's called Purple Rain. And now the pink, it is Pretty in Pink. Another good name, pretty good movie as well if you're into the 80s. I'll scoop some out. You can see about how much I scoop on that one. And this, this is very pretty. It is very, very light. It is not a dark pigmented pink, but it'd be really pretty on the cheeks as kind of glittery blush or around princess crowns. It also has stars and hexagons and stuff. Most of them have stars. I believe there was one that didn't, but most of them do. And now the last one is called Halloween. It's a really pretty coppery bronze, gold, oranges. It'd be great for Halloween, but I could also see using it for a lot of other stuff. And here I'll show you guys about how much I'm scooping for these swatches. And I do really like this one. It might be my favorite, but they're all good. I like them. All right, so there they all are next to each other. All really pretty glitters, very reflective. Now I'm going to show you what happens when you try to use pixie paint over a water activated face paint design. This is Tag Unicorn. I've just made a quick one stroke design, grabbed some pixie paint, and I'm going to try to slide it over the edge, which is something I would normally do with chunky glitter. And these are so gel based and wet that it just activates the paint even when you're trying to be really, really careful. So I wiped off my brush really, really well, and I'm trying to dab it over to see if maybe that would work, and it doesn't. Now, I was told this didn't work very well, but I like to try things myself. So you can see that gel is just so wet that that is not an ideal application. So I'm probably not going to use these for a lot of my regular designs unless I'm going over the design like this or around the edge. That would work, but you're going to have to be careful because if you get too close, you're going to ruin your design. So I would be... I'll be using these sparingly around my water activated paint designs, but I think I'm really, really going to like them for what is my pure glitter design because I'm not going to have to get out glue and glitter. I can just use these. So there you go. I hope this helped if you've been thinking about trying pixie paint and as always, please like and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video.